extra. That works. You take this and guide it. I'm gonna get on the ice cliff. Just a little bit of time. Hey, you gotta do the same thing about it. But if you want to plug your way and find a spot, Alright. So, made it to the spot I'm gonna be fishing today. Ice is uh, super sketchy. Actually, there's open water like 50 feet that way. That's where the boat launch is. But uh, we just kind of pulled our stuff through the woods a little bit. Yeah, still got about four. It's sketchy, but doable. I don't think so. Hey, it is uh, slowly coming together right now. Got all of our holes drilled. Me and my buddy are going to be jigging in there. Got the uh, camera hole as well because we are going to be using my underwater camera just to have this floor in here because it is a slushy mess out here. Perfect. That would have been rough. My buddy's got a flag. <laughs> First flag today. Nothing. But time for me to uh, set up some of my tip ups. No. That was ten pound pickerel. Oh, <laughs> Yo. Oh <my> <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, uh, where this fast is. <laughs> Got the bob house all screwed down now. But what I think I'm gonna do is because the mic broke off of this camera, again, I think I'm just gonna film the intro on my GoPro. But let's try it on the good camera anyway. So I think I am finally all set up. Got the bob house set up. My buddy's already gotten two flags, no fish so far. And my other buddy is setting his stuff up right now. I've never fished this lake before. This lake here is called Lake Armington, pretty shallow lake. So I'll be honest with you. I'm just kind of hoping for some pickerel, some yellow perch, I'm hoping for anything. Plus two, if I can get a couple eats on my underwater camera, that'll be pretty cool too. Turned it down. Yeah. So I'm going to be using a Bobby Garland's Baby Shad, I think they're called. This is blue ice color. This is the package right here, the original Baby Shad. Two inches long, and uh, hopefully we can jig up anything, honestly. But... Buddy's got two more flags. Oh, 
got it. He's got it. Oh, oh decent perch. yeah, decent perch. Brother. Oh, I got a flag. Yeah. Oh, got a flag. I bet it's a wind flag. Am I recording? I'm kind of recording. New battery in, and of course, as soon as my GoPro dies, that's when I get a flag with a nice fish. All right, cool. I got a flag. My buddy got a flag. I just caught that like 18 inch pickerel that you guys unfortunately missed because my chest cam died. Perch, perch. Perch. Oh, you actually got one? Yeah. Tiny little perch. All right, that's not a bad sign because look at that. Our bob house is right there. Any dead shiners? Do you have them in here? Bloop. All right, let's see if it came back. Oh yeah, feels a little bit bigger than a perch. A little bit bigger than a perch. Maybe it's just a big perch. Oh, oh. It's a big perch or small pickerel. Ah, uh, small pick. Oh. Uh. Got it. All right, there we go. Not a bad pick. And I don't know how he didn't frame my line, but I'm not gonna question it. It is noon right now and got a few fish to show for it. Some perch, some pickerel. That's to be expected. Hopefully I can get a bite on the underwater camera. Go right out to the side. Not that way. Ooh, that's opposite the wind direction. Oh. oh, did I just see him flash under the oh. ice? Can't see. Where is he? He's off this way now. I haven't got the leader yet. Man, he had a ton of line out. Oh, I did see him flash, I think. Oh, there's a leader. I think it's a pickerel. Oh, oh. oh yeah! Look at that. This is why I use circle hooks. See, when he was running, I stopped it. I didn't jerk it. I just stopped it. And I got him like that almost every time. Nippy. Oh, it's spinning. That's the biggest one today, too. Count it. That falling out onto the water. So back at my apartment, obviously, and overall, had a decent day out on the ice that day. Now that was my first time at that lake and that was actually the backup plan. I woke up at like 3.45 in the morning and we didn't even get everything set up until like 8.30 in the morning. But with ice fishing, that's just the way that it goes sometimes. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't bring my little sidekick here. As you guys saw, 
there was a lot of open water. So I definitely do plan on bringing little Chalupa here on my ice fishing adventures, but I definitely want to wait until the ice is a little bit more thick. The last thing I want her to do is fall through the ice or fall in a hole, something like that. So in New Hampshire, you are allowed six lines per person. Now with three of us being there, we just about had 18 holes drilled and all of us only ended up with perch or pickerel. Now the deeper side of the lake we fished was all open water as you guys saw in the drone footage. So we were kind of fishing the shallow half of the lake and the largemouth and smallmouth don't really like that six foot range when you're ice fishing. They just prefer a little bit deeper water. And unfortunately, I think this ice fishing season is going to be similar to last ice fishing season where we're just not really going to have a lot of safe ice a lot of places. Because in my area, everything is still open, so I could go open water fishing, but if I really wanted to, I could drive an hour and a half, two hours north, and do some more ice fishing. And because I have the pup, I think what I'm going to do is stick to places around my apartment just for now, just until the ice is definitely thick enough where I really don't have to worry about her falling in. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.